from Crafty Lady Anna. Today we're going to be doing a very special project. Now if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any more upcoming videos. Okay? Let's get started. Come on. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Anna. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you another way to do a... I'm, I'm going to do another Christmas cross. Since the last one I made, it was really popular and a lot of you liked it. I thought I'd do my take on a different one. Something a little different. Um, so you're going to need a Dollar Tree cross. Um, instead of the, the other thicker G twine, I'm going to use this thinner one that I have. I have bought this one at Walmart a while back. It's this big fat one. It's a thicker one, not the thin one. You're going to need some white ribbon. You're gonna need some floral. Um, I bought this one at Hobby Lobby at half off. It was $2.99, so I got it for $1.50. I also bought this cross at uh, Hobby Lobby, and this was $6.99, half off, so it was $3. I've had this, all this stuff I'm showing you, I've already had in my stash. Um, I had this sign that I took off of another cross that I had bought a long time ago. It's called, he is Risen, uh, or you can make your own. I bought one of these. Um, you could buy these at Hobby Lobby over there in the the garden center. It came two per package, so this is the other one that I have. I used the other one on the other wreath. I took this off of the same wreath that I took this one off. It was a wreath that I had bought at uh, Big Lots a long time ago. And I have this Jesus sign where he has risen. Okay, well with all this being said, Let's get started. Okay, before I begin, I'm going to go ahead and paint this Jesus cross. Um, I also forgot to tell you, you're going to need some black paint, either black or brown. I'm just doing black. I'm going to paint this black. Okay guys, while this is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of the black and just put it on the edge to kind of give it a little bit of a vintage look. And like I said, you can make any kind of a sign you want. You can buy, you can go to Hobby Lobby. They got, a, Hobby Lobby has a lot of uh, cut out letters in the wood department. And you can buy something that says blessed, peace, joyful, or you can go online and look for one. I'm putting this on with just a dry brush. I went over the letters again with uh, this permanent marker. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. Now this is going to be done different than the other one. This is not going to be woven in. I'm just going to wrap it around so it's a lot quicker and less messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right here.
a while, I'll put a little bit of hot glue here and here. So when I wrap it around, it'll hold it. You don't need to do it all the way through, just on certain parts. See? And it'll stick. I went ahead and cut it here because I'm going to go ahead and do we're going to go ahead and do it across here okay so we're going to start like we did that other one right here We're gonna have to do it all the way across so it'll stay. Okay guys, when you get to the end, I went ahead and put some uh, hot glue on this very end. Because I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it right here.
Now, I finished wrapping this. This is how it looks. I thought it came out super cute. Now I'm gonna start putting everything on there, but before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little hook behind here to hang up. Just make sure it's the same size. Okay. I was gonna put this cross here, but I'm not. I think it'll look better without it. So, I'm just gonna put the last finishing touch, which is this one, he has risen, right here. Hang it up and see how it looks. Here's the finished product. He is risen. And this could be for all year round. This could be just for Easter. This is something I, I want to keep up in my house all year round, even during uh, Christmas time. So if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap the notification bell, and let YouTube know you like what I do. And share. I also want to ask you for a favor. Uh, please let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, this one or the other one that I did. Which one do you like best? Which is your favorite? Let me know if you know if you want to try this, and I will let you know where I got that, okay? And it's very inexpensive. So, yeah, I thought it came out super cute. All right, with this being said, keep on crafting. Bye.